Hey, welcome back to Melissa Hager TV. We're live in studio today with some very special guests. I am so thrilled and excited to have Karen and Lori here with me today. Hi, ladies. Hello. Hello. Hi, well, now, if you already know who this is, you're freaking out right now and you're probably like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Uh, for those of you that don't know, which you must be living under a rock, um, <laughs> uh, this is Karen and Lori, the mothers of the four Greta Van Fleet boys. That's us. Oh, That's oh my us. gosh, you guys birthed rock stars. <laughs> Kind of crazy. <laughs> three. <laughs> yeah, three of them. Three of them. Only one. Uh, J- um, Danny, the drummer, is yours. Yes. And then the rest of the band. <laughs> There's a guy in town, Billy Budd. And it was it was before Greta got out. Mm-hmm. They were still playing Fisher Hall locally. And uh, the lager mill. I used yes. to work there part time. And he'd come in and he'd, he'd go, oh, man. And one day he just looked at me. He just, you birthed. A band. <laughs> and just a look on his face. He was like, dude, this was, it's, it's an amazing thing. And I'd it's never, a huge deal. I never thought about it. And just the, just the awe in his face. I was like, that's pretty damn cool. <laughs> <laughs> I just got asked last Friday at the basketball game. Someone just randomly came up to me and said, do you wish you would have had more boys so they could have had their own band too? <laughs> And I looked at him and I was like, hell no. No. I'm good. Exactly. That was was crazy. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. I was so random. Aw. Well, you guys were some very talented children, but you also have other children who are very awesome, too. We both have beautiful, wonderful, smart, energetic, lovey girls. Yeah. Lucky. put up with a lot lot. over the last eight years. I bet. I bet. Other brothers. Yes, I bet. And, and And I also hear... Very good things about the girls. They're big fans. Very great support. Very That's support. Very awesome. You know, when it comes to siblings, that can be like a... Well, and it is. It's like a family. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. It, it's like there's there's six kids yeah. that are right. part of this band, even though four of them actually play. Right. The, the girls are really supportive. Yeah. And That's they awesome. love their brothers and they love each other. Aww. You know, they all... It's, it's That's like a, really it's like special. They're all siblings. Yeah. It's, it's very special. That's Ronnie very... was older. Than Josie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Josie was she pretty was a baby. young. Yeah, 11, 10, 11 years old. So yeah. we, we were gone a lot. Mm-hmm. And it was it was harder on her. It I was think. harder on her. See, the boys all left at once. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so it was really bizarre for us in the Kisco, Kisco household because it, all, all of a sudden you know, it was like for two or three days, oh, this is great. Mm-hmm. Oh, but then all of a sudden it's like the music is gone. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It it, and, and there was always people coming and going and there was always yep. just music. Mm-hmm. And so it was a really hard adjustment, but Ronnie was older mm-hmm. and was out and about and doing her thing. Well, Josie didn't have that. Aww, you know, yeah. she was yeah, yeah. younger and still just at school and mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Well, it's it's a incredible journey that it it has been. I know this was an exciting memory that just came up for me today. Just a year ago, we were all doing the Grammy thing. Yeah, that was it. You guys were at the Grammys. Yeah, I you know. were at Can the Grammys. That's crazy. Tell us about that. That must have been wonderful, right? Well, yeah, that was cool. And we didn't have much time. What did we have? Six weeks to prepare? Not even. Not yeah. even. I don't even That's think. Cool. I think we had four weeks to prepare. Yeah. To get it, it, it was and... like what? Yeah. What? Well, <laughs> we, we we couldn't say no. <laughs> well, yeah, you're like, we're going to the Grammys. <laughs> Holy cow. We have to just figure it out. <laughs> That's exciting. We threw a big Grammy party here in Frankenmuth. You guys had tons of fans, a bunch of supporters that came. We all watched it on the screen. You know, we're we're just waiting for them to show across. And then anytime you guys send an update, we yep. enjoyed that. It was very cool. And thank you for sharing that with us. It was oh, really. Yeah. Oh, that was so exciting. That was yeah. so exciting. It they was won so the exciting. best rock album. And yeah. who would have thought? Very yeah. cool. Yeah. I mean, they are like, well, revolutionizing rock. And roll. How does that happen? They're just young They're kids, just babies. The, the tricky part about it is that they had, didn't have an album out yet, mm-hmm. and we so we had been told the management was like, "Well, next year we'll plan this album release, and then they'll be eligible for Grammys next year." Oh, and blah yeah. blah blah blah. Well, the rules changed in the Grammys, so that their double EP qualified. Oh, really? Yep, as a Grammy. I oh, mean, so as an that, album. Yeah. Right. So even though the the label so, doesn't see it as an album. Yeah. <laughs> they for the did. Grammys, they saw it. It worked out. Yep. So That's cool. So nobody was expecting it. No. So the boys were all out in L.A. I don't remember if, what they were doing if they were working. They were working on the album. I remember Daniel said he woke up and there was like 
a thousand text messages. The, you know, so they're, wow. they're, they're working on, they the, they're, they're in the studio until like 10 or 11 o'clock at night and then they eat dinner and then they go to bed at two. So they're sleeping to noon mm-hmm. and all of, all of them so they had that same story. It's like <laughs> they woke up and they're like, oh, my phone blew up. What the? What? <laughs> And what? they're like, what? <laughs> they thought something really bad happened. Oh, boy. They, First thought, they're like, oh, no. So their, their minds good. were blown. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. That's and then so had cool. four nominations, actually, yep. and then won the yeah, best That's album. That's so, that, I know, the whole, this whole, <sighs> whole mid-Michigan area blew up. I yep. mean, they have fans all over the world, but, yeah. you know, all of us, all of us from by their hometown, we feel so privileged to their attention, which is not the case. Like that's we're not owed anything yeah. at all, and that. But it's so special to us. Like we're just so excited for them, and it gets like, ah, you yeah, know, the whole town. It's is very so supportive. fun. Yeah, it's yeah. very. It's awesome. Such very a great awesome. Town. It is. It's super cool. Yeah. So you guys go way back. We do. Way back, like unexpectedly far back. We do. So we had not. Daniel had joined. The band, and it was at least six months. At least six months that we became friends on we, Facebook. We had been we had, we we'd set up the boys' Facebook page, and we're, we monitor it, and we're going to we're when going is to all these gigs. When is this? Well, eight years ago. Eight the years. Boys were still seniors. Daniel. Well, this was then uh, after fall, after summer, after eighth grade for Daniel and Sam. Okay, so, so the boys were. Still okay. 16. Yeah. The twins. 16. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, 13 so, and 16. So 13 and yeah. 16. Oh. Yep. And so we, you know, we're hauling them to all these bars and <laughs> <laughs> loading them in, loading them out, making sure they're not, you know, uh-huh. yeah, they're okay. And um, all this time, we'd been spending all this time together. And we'd check that Facebook. How many? Oh, 22 likes. Oh, oh we were 30 so likes. excited. Oh, so I think we'll hit 100. This, oh this particular night, we were sitting around the pub table at my house, and Lori was like, oh, look, look. Oh, we hit 102 likes. No. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh so she's, she's out there reading it. Are you she, listening to this? She's out there looking at the posts and stuff, and she says, oh. Remember, what, you liked it? or No, uh, Joe's post. Oh, Joe's post. Oh, yeah. So Daniel's girlfriend, Mackenzie, her dad. Well, she, they weren't boyfriend. He didn't. They weren't boyfriend they, girlfriend yeah, at that time. Just, I don't even know they knew each other yet at that time. Yeah, they might not. Oh no, I don't think they did because he would have only been thirteen. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's he saw my or he saw the name. Yeah, because my maiden name is Gun- oh. Gunterman, and it's just very rare. Mm-hmm. And he knew me from high school because we were in plays together. So it was like. So so he he, so, so so there's this post and and she looks at me and she goes, "Do you do you know, do you know Joe, Joe Anthony?" <laughs> and I said, yeah. "Yeah, do you know Joe Anthony?" I said, and she's like, "Yeah." yeah. And he post he posted this you know picture oh. of the boys and he said, "Oh oh my is gosh, that your son? is is that Danny Wagner with the Kiska boys?" <laughs> and I'm and like, she's like, "Look, and yeah. like, what 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 what." So it turns like, out, oh my we gosh, actually went to school world. together. We'd oh, been, get been out together. of here. We'd Grand Blake together. High School. We'd been together all these months. Oh, my gosh. 25 years later. 25 years later, did not even know we went to Grand Blake High School together. And she was the graduating class in front of me. Yep. Uh-huh. But we kind of hung in the same group. So, oh. like, we weren't buddies at the time, but we kind of knew each other. Yep. That's crazy. wild. It was really crazy. So we were doing plays, and... She was involved in the plays, and her brother was involved in the plays, and Joe Anthony was involved in the plays, and I was involved in plays. And next time I come on, I'll bring it. But I have a playbill from high school that all oh of our names are still in. Oh my goodness! It, Get that we were out all of here. working together. That's a wild. Yeah. That is so wild. Yeah. Huh, and you guys crazy. have. I mean, I don't. You guys always seem like you're getting along so well, and every. I mean, do you guys ever disagree on anything? Do you ever? We we did. You know, um, there's early early always going to be, but it was never arguments. No. It, awesome. it would just be like, oh, should they no. play here? Should they? When are they going to do this? And have right. It? And Danny had golf. Yeah. At right. the time, because that was his pursuit. Because mm-hmm. they were supposed the... to have backup plans. Yeah. Because the band probably wasn't going <laughs> to take off. Yeah, golf was a little stressful. So, so what do you so, think? You're just going to be a rock star your whole life? Are you crazy? <laughs> <that's> crazy. <laughs> so so there was that, and then like Josh and Jake with their arguing and all that. <laughs> yeah, and so yeah. then there were. Like, Danny shouldn't probably be hanging out when they're throwing crap around. Yeah. So there were little things like that where we go, well, we, we really need to schedule this here. Yeah. Well, yeah. we can't schedule this here. Right. Okay. Well, can we schedule this one here? And so there was, yeah, crazy and, and, and with the boys, so it, well, Danny can't come over and practice here if that's going to happen. Right. And so there's, 
so there was all kinds of you know, nudging and yeah. this, but there was never arguing or no. Or, but I do remember the first night Daniel came over for practice. Uh, I apologize. <laughs> He comes home and I'm. We're like, so how was your first? They would get together every Tuesday and Thursday night. Wow, for like good seven for them. to nine in practice. Yeah. And he came home and he's like, well, like, how was your first night? It was okay. Jake and Josh got in a little fight, <laughs> fist fight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Brothers. So, so and I'm like, you don't know what that's like. Thankfully, they grew out of it. Yes. Yeah. They did. But at first, you know, Josh, Jake was like, this is my band and it's yeah. a rock band and mm-hmm. this is how we're gonna do it. And Josh is. I'm the lead singer, you and if me. I'm going to sing it, it's going to be like this, uh-huh. and you're an idiot. No, you're an <laughs> idiot. And, and it's like, you Oh, guys. good, they're normal. That makes everything better. <laughs> and Daniel's in the middle just going, okay. And I was and I was like, look, neither of you are idiots. You have different ideas. Listen to each other. This time do it this way. And I'm pulling oh, my hair. The in the so this was a grand yeah. yeah. This was this was a bigger than normal. And so it was yeah. summertime and the suburban was pulled up to the garage yeah. and the garage door was open. And they're practicing and all of a sudden I hear <laughs> bah, 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 bah. And I was like, Oh Uh-oh. and I run to the door and I flip open the door and they're they're like and and then Josh and takes the mic stand and he swings it at Jake and Jake plows into him and and there's there's And Daniel's scared. There's Sam going yeah. Idiots. Yeah. <laughs> Sam's like, don't He's worry. He's always chill. It happens all the here's, time. Here's Danny. Yeah. The eyes. His eyes. Brown are, eyes. He's just going, ooh. <laughs> my sister and I don't do that. <laughs> and, and I, I finally get him calmed down. And, and, then, and then the one nice thing is that whenever they were done, it was always like, oh, no, you're a genius. Yeah. You're a genius. That's great. Yeah. Oh. Like, and it's like, why couldn't you just yeah. start there? Why do we even have to why? go down that road? And so, I, you know, I pulled Danny over and so uh-huh. I sit, got up on the suburban hood. And I'm like, come on, Danny. <laughs> okay. He gets up and then he sits. I'm like, this is, this is okay. This is life with I mean, it's boys. not okay, but, but, but I'm really sorry that your first night had to be like this. Yeah. <laughs> but it's probably going to happen again. Uh-huh. So, he so if it upsets Thursday. you too much, then... You know, you might not want to be in the band because it's going to happen again. And, and he was he like, was... no, that's okay. No, that's okay. I, I'll get used to it. <laughs> that's good. And then he's kind of like became like the peace. Yeah. yeah. Peaceful yeah. one. Yeah, I mean, yeah. the. Yeah. So right. he he was able Peacemaker. to get this thing where like Sam just would sit back and go. He's out. Yeah. He just throws yeah. his hands up <laughs> yeah. like, I'm yeah. out. I'm you're, out. You're, it's all the way to you're done because he had been through it a million mm-hmm. times. And I'd go out there and it would almost make it worse. Yeah. You know, I'd be trying. No, you can't. And you have to. And you, but, and, and, and that they, kind of like geared them up even uh-huh. more. But Danny was this third party yep. that was like Sam, thinking, idiots. <laughs> but could say, but could say, hey, 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 yeah, hey. What? Well, wait. Now listen. That's a, that's a good idea. This guy, and that's a good idea. And and he could kind of. Yep. Mellow it out. Yep. Chill it out. Yep. Yeah. That's, totally. But by incredible. The t- by the time they were, eighteen, seventeen, eighteen, that had. Cleared and, mm-hmm. and now it doesn't, it doesn't happen anymore. Oh my gosh, Danny's gonna be Doctor Phil. Oh yeah, no <laughs> kidding. But I do have to tell you the first the first gig that we went to, maybe the second gig gig, it was at White's Bar actually. No, oh. and mm-hmm. we there was they were super excited to be there, and we we walk in and we're like, okay, we brought our fourteen year old kids to play at this bar. Mm-hmm. I know where that. I did open mic there, and my husband was like, you better back into the parking spot. <laughs> You back in so you can get out fast. <laughs> well, a fight broke out. And oh, my, hu- no. my husband. Oh, oh, Dan and I were yeah, sitting at this they were table. Sitting at a table. And Dan's back was to it. And I saw it all happening. Oh, and my, no, my, my husband shit. saw it's in slow a, motion in my head. Yeah, my husband saw a fist go right next to his head. <laughs> and, and I'm standing up and he's looking at me like, and what we're the like, hell? And he and and then they these two went at it. They were taken out really fast. And my husband looks at me and he's like <laughs> What have oh, we gotten our son Dan into? Dan j- jumped up. Our table got flipped. <laughs> like, oh. Yay, we're such great parents. <laughs> and, the and, then, whole, and the whole ride home, the Wagners are like, now golf is very calm. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a great, um, it's a great activity. Mellow, there's no fist You biting. wear nice clothes. <laughs> we'll get you brand new cleats. <laughs> we should be doing more golfing. Oh. Let's do more golfing. And two weeks later, we took him to another bar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's incredible. <laughs> but we asked the boys, oh, my gosh, what'd you think about that fight? And they're like, what fight? Yeah, they didn't even. They never didn't even, even saw know. it. No. Never even knew that. That's wild. Just were up there doing their thing. Yep. So all well, those... Danny at White's, 
Danny, the the stage is like this tiny, 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 and so the boys right are up like this, a and then the drums are in the very yeah. corner, and there's no riser, and so you didn't even know there was a drummer. Yeah, except you could hear the drums. You could hear it. You so could Danny, hear it. Was, yeah. Danny's in the and window, he, and at that point he wasn't yeah. six foot tall. In the window, yeah. he, he was like he's going to fall back and go right out the window. <laughs> <laughs> so his drums are up here, and he's oh my gosh, wow! So he couldn't see anything Stories. anyway. That's crazy. <laughs> so all those all those small <laughs> Michigan spots that the boys yep. played at. I mean, they. I, you got to know that they are just swelled with pride. Like they're just like we had yeah. them here. We, I mean, I know like right here in town, Slow Bones. They yep. share big accomplishments of the boys all the time because they're just so they're like, gee, but they were here. Yeah. They were our guys. Yeah. So that's they actually worked there. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They yeah. actually they actually talked to customers. <laughs> they did. I like <laughs> how much they were. Not much. They work. were really good at conversing with the. They customers. are Gabby. <laughs> They're the chit chatty. That ones. was like the best work gig any kid could have. I bet. And those two were just, they just were so clueless. It's like, <laughs> yeah, whatever. I got this because mom says I have to. <laughs> yeah. But I got a band. I'm in a band. I'm going to be a rock star. It's like, no. <laughs> That's funny. You well, know, when the boys are in third grade, the teachers have them write what they want to be when they grow up. Mm-hmm. They're third grade teachers. And then when they graduate, the third grade teacher brings them these envelopes. Oh. And gives them to them uh-huh. to show them if what right. they were going to go into was right. what they wanted. And when Daniel graduated, he got his envelope and he opened it and it said he wanted to be a rock star. It really it did. It really wow. did. In That's third so cool grade. in third grade. Wow. Wow. That was cool. Unbelievable. See, it was just meant to be. I said, I wonder how many other people said that. I know. Yeah. That's interesting. Jake probably said that. I know, said I they, they didn't bring their envelopes home. They didn't show me their <laughs> you envelopes. Don't even, you never saw them. You're like, what envelopes? <laughs> you might not want to know what they wanted to be. <laughs> Boys, <laughs> would you please? <laughs> That might be a secret. No, that's nice. You yeah. find that under the bed when you're in the room. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> that's really and, – and Danny can play a lot of instruments. Correct. Yeah, he's yeah. a phenomenon. Like, yeah. Drummer was not anything. even his original thing. He played electric guitar – um, starting, that was his first love. So I had guitars in the house. I played guitar my whole life. I have a 12 string in the house and I wasn't letting him put his hands on it because <laughs> he was not going to break this special 12 string uh-huh. guitar. And, but he just fell in love with electric guitar. Didn't That's even, cool. you know, now he plays acoustic really well, but his love was always, you know, electric guitar. So my parents got him his first electric guitar when he was seven, I think. And he took lessons from multiple people, but it's really funny. He, he really blossomed when he learned how to read tabs. Okay, he so so with so with anything. guitars, you know, usually you you read music. There's uh-huh. notes and it's uh, um, right, um, but tab is for guitars, and it actually shows like the fretboard. Oh, and and which which where you're what to at. play what okay notes to hit. What, you <clears> know, he can just look at a sheet and just play every tab on oh, it, and gotcha. just play an entire song. Wow, yeah, that's awesome. So and so when he is our neighbor down the street, Tony Farab would he would go down and jam with him. He had a little band and he taught him how to play tabs and That's then he just super. blossomed. Wow! So awesome I man. I had Danny um, two years in a row I think um, in CCD. <laughs> so once a week the kids exhausted after school would be mm-hmm. bust over to the church. Yep. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> I'm supposed to be teaching them religious ed. They're oh all, yeah, there's good stories. They're all they're all exhausted. No, there's, now there's lots of good stories. Now I know. We're gonna go into those. But Danny would said to me, you know, hey, I I play guitar. Jake, your son's Jake. I, mm-hmm. I play guitar too. And I was like, oh, that is really awesome. You know, do you, what kind of music do you play? And this kind of progressed. And, mm-hmm. and and I said, you know, you should bring your guitar in sometime. And he never did. But then he 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 was like, hey, I know. Uh, Highway tune. I can play highway tune. Aww. I was like, that is so cool. You should come over and jam with the boys. You know, they, they mm-hmm. practice on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but, you know, they play a lot. And you should, you know, because he and Dan, Sammy were in the same grade. Mm-hmm. I said, talk to Sam, mm-hmm. you know, and come on over. You can come home on the bus or whatever. And, and then they did the head-to-head. And, and it didn't happen. It didn't happen. And, yeah, it was, so then they it, did the head-to-head. Yeah, head-to-head head is a program which, at school that they had a talent program. Yeah. Oh, where they got to play? Yeah, so yeah, he and Sam. Cool. So he and Sam did that. Decided to do one together. Cool. And then, I, I, you know, one more time, I was like, just you should just come over. Come and so over. I came home and I said, Sam, do you know Danny knows like all these songs? He knows the mm-hmm. guitar for all these songs. And Sam was like, No, I didn't know that. And I'm like, Have him over. Yeah. So he invited him over, and he and of course Jake was like, Yeah, it's really cool. 
But I play guitar. Yeah, they didn't need another guitarist. That's, that's really cool. Okay, two to this. Oh. And, and so, so Jake was willing to help him out. You know, yeah, here, you know, oh, hold it like this or do, mm-hmm. you know, hold this note a little longer. So he would be helpful and stuff, but, you know. Mm-hmm. They didn't but, need another guitarist, yeah. But it wasn't until we needed a drummer during practices. Yeah. That he would sit in. That it, it was like Danny would come over and mm-hmm. it'd be like, oh, there's no drummer. And it's like, hey, can you play drums? And Danny was like. Sure. Sure. <laughs> just give me a minute. Wow. <laughs> so he just started doing it. And he kind of taught himself. And I think you had a drum kit at home. So he so, played some. Yeah. My cousin sent. Holy my cousin, cow. You're yeah. blowing my mind right now. My cousin was selling her, her son's drum kit. And I'm like, hey, you can play anything. I think I'll just buy it. Wow. Jeez. So I bought my nephew's drum kit um, and put it down the basement. And then Daniel was just down there making noise. Yeah. <laughs> lots like, and lots I need of aspirin. noise. And my husband's like, what have you done? You? And I'm like, it sounds so nice, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. But what we didn't know is he had headphones on and he was playing the boy's music in his ear and learning to the, the drums wow. and the beat to all of the songs and things that they were playing. So, so he was kind of like the, the he's teaching the, himself the sit-in, mm-hmm. yep. practice drummer. Yeah, mm-hmm. not part of the band. Mm-hmm. And he'd sit for hours and, and teach himself how to play drums. But he he just loved it. He had such a passion that he'd go home and he'd work on this stuff. And and, do and the boys yeah. are like, oh yeah, hey, we need drummer. And so, you he'd know, when come it came in. down like we actually needed a drummer for the band, right. it was like. It was so funny. <laughs> it was, it was. They were standing there and they're like, "It's like you want to be a, a the drummer," and then he was just like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, I can do that." <laughs> and he's, I mean, he's like the drummer of the decade. I mean, uh, people well, are. Well, he he got the uh, yeah. best drum yep. drummer of the year. Yep. Yeah, and then he's. I mean, he's. Incredible! Very oh, I know it's incredible. And that's my favorite story is to tell people that he's not even a drummer. He's yeah, a guitar, he's not a drummer. He's a guitar player. <laughs> he you learned know? it to be in the band. That is some incredible talent. Yeah, and yeah. he's got them wavy locks and his he's big muscly yeah. shoulders. Yeah. He's a great specimen yeah. of a human. Yeah, you, you know, know, as a 37 year old, I caution: I'm not being creepy. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, I hope my boys can look like that someday. Yeah. Yeah. He does thank me every day. Yeah, he thanks every day for his hair. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> nice hair. God. Golly, yeah. all of them. Such nice hair. I'm they like, have beautiful hair. They have way better all hair than I do. Have beautiful hair. How does that happen? I don't know. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> them girls, oh my goodness. So fun to talk to. That is just part one of a three part interview we did with the moms, uh, Karen and Lori. So much fun. So much more cool information to get. This next video coming up here in a few days is going to be talking about their hair. We got a hilarious story. You're not going to believe what happened. Have they always had long hair? I guess you'll find out. Make sure that you uh, subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell so you get notified when we upload a new video. And if you've had as much fun listening to Karen and Lori as I had talking to them, leave them a comment. Leave them something nice to read. And I'll be sure to try my best to get it over to them. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll be back with part two. Soon enough.